before watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us hello everyone and welcome this is ashma shukla your current affairs and banking awareness faculty on entry platform and in this video we'll be talking about all the major news events that have happened in the past days the discussion is going to involve all the major news events which are important from examination point of view and we'll be trying to cover as many news events as possible Therefore, this session is going to be a highlight segment where you get all the major updates. Whereas for questions, you can download our entry app where you'll be getting free of cost everyday um, tests or quizzes, uh, which will help you in keeping in touch with the examination. Starting with the discussion on news events on our part, the first news event is Kotak Mahindra Bank Limited has partnered with Indian Institute of Science. The partnership was made to set up state-of-the-art artificial intelligence and machine learning center at IISC Bangalore. The research on artificial intelligence and machine learning is the reason why this has been set up or that is the purpose of this, um, purpose of this MOU. The partnership has been made under the Kotak Mahindra CSR project on education and livelihood and therefore the center is going to offer bachelor's degree, master's degree, short term courses in that domain that being artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, image processing, computer vision, blockchain, biomedical engineering and technology and various other such arenas. Then we have the third foreign office consultations FOC between India and El Salvador were recently held in San Salvador. Uh, that's the location, uh, San Salvador, where this was led. Both sides reviewed the cooperation activities like health, trade, investment, tourism, and various such things. The capital of El Salvador is San Salvador, where it was conducted. IAFL Home Finance Limited has signed a co-lending agreement with Punjab National Bank. The co-lending agreement aims to enhance the distribution of affordable housing loans and MSME loans. So as per the agreement, 80% uh, of the amount would be granted by Punjab National Bank and IAFL HFL will manage the loan sourcing, the documentation and other such servicing work for the loans. Major focus states for loan distribution are Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, and Karnataka. Also, there is going these in these are going to be on the low interest. Then we have loan against mutual funds scheme. It's a name of digital banking scheme of Tata Capital. The scheme grants instant loans from five lakh to two crore to the customers on the basis of their mutual fund holdings. Then we have Earth Short Prize. It's the first ever environment prize which was launched by Britain's Prince William and David Attenborough in 2020. The two Indian projects have been selected to get the prize. The first being Solar Powered Ironing Card Project, which is a solar powered ironing card project. And second of all, Agricultural Waste Recycling Concept designed by an entrepreneur from Delhi. The Punjab Energy uh, Development Agency or PETA has signed an MOU with Convergence Energy Services Limited Cecil to install a public charging station for electric vehicles in the region of Punjab. CESL is a subsidiary of Energy Efficiency Services Limited or EESL. The Power Finance Corporation Limited has issued its maiden Euro Green Bond of 300 million pounds under the US Global Medium Term Note Program. It's the first ever Euro dominated green bond issuance from India. International Olympic Committee has banned North Korea till 2022. That means in the 2022 Beijing Winter Games, North Korea cannot participate. Why has this happened is because North Korea did not send its team to the uh, recent Tokyo Olympics and that is the reason why this ban has taken place. World Bank has announced that it will discontinue the practice of issuing the doing business report. The decision was taken after observing an investigation which revealed data irregularities in the 2018 and 2020 edition of the report. Seeing these um, 
negligence, this decision has been taken that doing business report, which was known as ease of doing business tracking, that is no longer going to be done. And uh, there will be certain review also, uh, which will be done on the irregularity. India's 61st Software Technology Park of India Center was inaugurated at Kohima, Nagaland. Now, this is the first in the Kohima, Nagaland. So, Nagaland, this is the first such uh, software technology park which has been set up. Whereas in India, it is the 61st. Central Board of Direct Access has announced extension of deadline to link PAN with biometric IT Aadhaar. The deadline has been extended by six months, that is till 31st of March 2022. The center has constituted a group of ministries to look into better implementation of various welfare schemes, which were meant for scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, and other backward classes, minorities, and women to improve their implementation and effectiveness. Now, the government group of ministers will be chaired by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh Ji. He is going to head this group of ministers. The objective is to work for empowerment and prosperity of backward classes and minorities. And in this, the union ministers who are going to be there is the Home Minister, Finance Minister, Education Minister and all the other ma uh, major union ministers. Amrinder Singh Ji has resigned as the Chief Minister of Punjab and his position has been taken by Charanjit Singh Chadni Ji. Pino Payments Bank has appointed Indian actor Pankaj Tripathi Ji as its first brand ambassador. The appointment has been, has been done for the coming two years. And the first campaign which has been launched in the face of Pankaj Tripathi Ji is Figure Not. This campaign is with the name Ficker Not. Harmilin Kaur has, um, from Punjab, has created a new national record in women's 1500 meter race by clocking it to 4 hour 45, 4 hour 5 minutes to back the 4.5 minutes to back the gold in women's 1500 meter event at the 60th National Open Athletics Championship, which was held in Rangal. Now, this 20, she's this 23 year old. She has erased the 19 year old record. This 19 year record was by Sunita Rani Ji in 1500 in the 2002 Asian Games by clocking it to four, um, four and six minutes, four minutes six seconds. Two famous products of Manipur, that is Hathi chili, commonly known as Sarari Kong chili and Tamlegong orange. They have received a geographical indication or GI tag recently. This GI tag has been given to these particular, these GI tags are actually given to certain products with a specific geographical location or origin. Then we have government of Sikkim who have declared Cooper Mahasid, which is commonly or locally known as Katle, as the state fish. Neolysilus hexagonalipis is the scientific name of Cooper Mahasid. The four member crew spent this line is redundant. This is not uh, related to the news event. So um, the decision has been taken, see, seeing the importance of Katle fish. Then we have Life Insurance Corporation who have launched a new mobile app by the name Pragati for its development officers. Pragati full form is Performance Review Application Growth and Trend Indicator. That is the full form of Pragati and it will help in development officers to get real-time information about the performance of their agency, uh, agency force in the critical areas of business performances. Ford Motor has announced to close the manufacturing plants in India. Ford has two integrated manufacturing facilities in India. One at Chennai, Tamil Nadu, another in Sananad, Gujarat. Now, Ford will only offer high-end cars via completely build-up or CBU. That is the only route that is going to be taken. Ford was registered in Chennai. In India has four regional offices and is headquartered in United States in Michigan. United uh, Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh Ji released a book with the title Shining Sikh Youth of India, which was authored by Dr. Prabhu Singh Ji. Mahindra Singh Dhoni Ji has been named as the mentor of Indian cricket men's team for ICC T20 World Cup 2021. 
Ministry of Ayush signed an MOU with American Herbal Pharmacopoeia. Pharmacopoeia Commission for Indian Medicine and Homeopathy, which comes under Ayush Ministry, has signed an MOU on behalf of the respective ministry. It was signed to enhance the export potential of ASUNH, that is Ayurveda Siddha Yunanian Homeopathy Drugs. Then we have Manika Shaikonda who has been appointed as Goodwill Ambassador for Water Conservation Campaign in Haryana. Raninder Singh has been re-elected as President of National Rifle Association of India. Nobel Laureate Kailash Satyarthi ji has been appointed as new Sustainable Development Goals Advocate by United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres. And with this, we'll be winding up the segment and I hope this session has been helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.